guys welcome to another video marketing with Bry. today i want to talk about five lessons i've learned from robert kiyosaki's book rich dad poor dad i've never been a book reader i've always been a listener i've always wanted to know how to make my money last longer and change my whole mindset on money i feel like my life is controlled by it sometimes but this book helped me to change my mindset and really learn where I'm going wrong and where I can move forward unlike most people in the world they get up daily and they go to a nine-to-five job I'm not really that type of person I want to be able to enjoy my life not only when I'm retired but enjoy my life right throughout even if it means to I have to live simple and find a way to um, you know eat rice and beans every day just so that I can go out and um, enjoy myself but this book really gave me a different perspective about life and how I can improve my life and increase my wealth and that's what we wanted to talk about today we wanted to talk about five lessons that I've learned from rich dad poor dad So while listening to the audiobook, I have came to the realization that all my life I've been defining wealth the wrong way. And based on what Robert said in this book, I've learned that the new definition for wealth is really how long can I survive without working a 9 to 5? How long can my assets keep me afloat? So, to put this into perspective in my own words, if tomorrow I break my leg and I'm not able to go out and work my 9 to 5 job, or in my case, to run my business, how long will I be able to continuously pay my bills on a month to month basis without being able to physically work? So, that right there is his definition and now my new definition of wealth you know how long can my assets keep me afloat so as a young person growing up i'm just in my 20s my main goal now is to work my nine to five job so that i can build my asset column which is to increase my asset now in the book he mentioned that assets are anything that bring money into your pocket so your house your car is not your asset only what brings money into your pocket can be classified as your asset for example the only way your house can be your asset is if you have your mortgage say you pay a thousand dollars a month for your mortgage but you rent out half of your house for twelve hundred dollars a month Well, your house is now your asset because your house brings in $200 a month. So I now have a new definition of wealth and asset. So another thing I benefited from in the book was where he showed us the reader a comparison of his rich dad and his poor dad. And this was really the that that the point in the book that really made me think because I've grown up all my life thinking this way so what he mentioned in the book was you have to work on changing yourself and that starts with your habits your decision he said his poor dad had the habit of saying I can't afford it see but the other dad with his rich dad forbade those words like he his rich dad hated saying i can't afford it but his poor dad had a had an habit of saying it um he his rich dad rather say how can i afford it and then when you analyze these two uh habits one is i can't afford it this one it forces you to not think and be lazy 
But the other statement, how can I afford it? This is a question and it prompts your brain to think, to think of ways you can afford it. And I give you an example. After reading the book, I I tried my best to implement this, keep it in my mind on a daily basis. And uh, my wife wanted to buy a Switch, a game, the Nintendo Switch. And instead of telling her, hey, I can't afford it, I sat down with her and we tried to come up with ways in which we can. And one of the ideas we came up with was that we could buy something off eBay or Amazon and flip it until we make enough to buy the game. And that's exactly what we did. There's tons of items on eBay you can buy and sell them locally in Facebook Marketplace for 50 to 100% profit. So we basically are looking for ways that we could increase our assets, things that bring money and by starting a buying and selling business, flipping business, that's one way we created cash flow on top of our small business that we currently own and invest in. Before I end this video, I wanted to show you guys just a few things. Um, he also mentioned that most people stop learning after high school or college. They feel like they've reached the height of their education and they don't need to continue to learn. But he mentioned that, you know, just like how you have people that work out each day, to become healthier you know he says physical work increases your health but mental exercise increases your wealth basically he's saying you know you have to continue to learn continue to learn new things and gain knowledge so that you can act wisely on that knowledge hence knowledge translate to power power translate to money your goal is not just to make money but it does translate to money. So for example, learning how to monetize and upload apps was one of the things I've always been interested in. And, um, I did some research, found this website called Flipper, where I could come and buy an app or a business that is already making money. And that's one way where I could increase my asset class. I'll leave a link down below where you guys could check this out as well. Now another way is I've been over the last two years teaching myself and learning from other experienced people about investing. Um, instead of saving my money in the bank and getting 0.5% per year, I use a free app called Webo. Uh, most people use Robinhood. I'll leave a link to those down below as well. You can sign up for them. You could deposit 500 or a hundred dollars whenever you have time what I usually do is deposit two hundred dollars um, a week and uh, try my best to get 10 20 percent a year uh, I do research on small cap companies that are that have a good business plan and a good CEO and I invest in them and I hold it for a few months my hope is to hold it for a year but oftentimes I hold it for a few months and they go up 10 20 percent and then I sell it and um, cash out so basically I, I enjoy investing myself and not just investing in a mutual fund it teaches me a lot and I'm learning from the experience as I go um, one of the ways I am able to get to this point is by listening to different audiobooks and that brings me to the next thing I wanted to suggest to you guys is audible now I have been using these guys and I love audible there it's tremendous what they offer and because of this I wanted to recommend their service as well you can sign up and you'll get a free audiobook you probably could get rich dad poor dad and give it a listen just continue to listen to it on your drive to work on your way back and I guarantee you you will benefit and it will change your life so if you enjoy this video please like and share it with your friends so they can be motivated to 
and definitely go and check out Rich Dad Poor Dad. Click the link down below. Sign up for a free Audible um, subscription, and you get the first month for free. And then you could check out your book, and you'll get that book for free. Listen to it, really listen to it. I guarantee you'll enjoy it. Thank you guys. Please subscribe or hit me up if you have any questions. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day now.